Right uh, boys and girls, in this video I want to show you about a problem that the MG Midget and 1500 Triumph 1500 engines suffer from and it's mainly the centre main bearing. Um, the outer main bearing here it feeds one main bearing on the crank uh, shaft, one main bearing and one piston, that's the oil feed. On the other end of the engine, the front of the engine, again it feeds one main bearing and one piston. The centre uh, main bearing seal uh, feeds one main bearing journal on the crankshaft and it has to feed two pistons and there isn't, there, there isn't sufficient oil flow uh, to keep it well lubricated. Uh, so it's, it's a known problem on these engines and quite often it's these uh, bearings that fail uh, or seize up or whatever. So um, the racing boys figured this out years ago but you don't see many videos about it on YouTube, so I thought I'd make one myself, and I've just finished doing that exact same thing myself. Uh, and what you have to do, you have to drill out the centre main bearing. Now, it, it does say on the YouTube video that I've seen to drill it out to 5 sixteenths. Now, I didn't have in, uh, in the workshop a 5 sixteenth drill. So what I did first, I measured the depth up through the main bearing journal. Uh, oh, by the way, first of all, you've got to knock the centre, you've got to knock the oil feed out of the distributor drive. You'll see it sits into the distributor drive just here like so. Uh, and you, you punch it out from the bottom. I used my long extension bar on my socket, end of my socket, and punched it out uh, with, a, with, a, with a hammer. It, it's only a press fit, so a couple of hard shunks and it'll come out. Mark up where it sits because it's got an oil feed on it. You don't drill that oil hole out, leave that as it is. So you measure, once you've knocked your centrepiece out, you can then put your measuring stick down through the oil feed, where that's where your oil feed connects. And be careful when you're drilling not to damage those threads. You don't want to, because that's where your oil feed screws in. But the, the drills I used were smaller diameter than that, so it was, it was okay. So you measure down to the bottom, like so on your piece of rod and that's how far you've got to drill down to the bottom and again you measure from underneath the centre main bearing you measure up and you measure up again measure up because those two pipes cross over this one's at a slight angle as you can see it goes up at a slight angle there uh, so make sure you keep your drill steady I did it by hand and I've never I'm not experienced it wasn't difficult you just take your time when you're doing it First of all, I used a 7mm drill in this hole. Just take so just a shave off it first. Take your time. If you feel it's starting to lock up, back it off. Keep your drill lubricated. And again, just carry on. I had it upside down, you know, with the head down, so I was drilling down into it. Take your time. Put your 7mm uh, drill bit through until it meets the bottom, until it crosses to the bottom where you've marked it. That one's only about 3.5 inches deep. The other one is deeper because you've got to go through the distributor housing. Put your 7mm drill through first. Then open it back out again with a with an 8mm drill. I, had, I didn't have a 5 16 That's what was uh, on the YouTube video I saw. But the 8mm is very, very close to that. And I thought, well, I've got an 8mm drill. Uh, and I used an 8mm. Be careful to keep it straight. And it sits nicely, nice and steadily. Take your time. Till you reach the point where you, you get to the crossover, which you'll know because you'll have marked on your drill bit. When you've done that one, you come up to the top. Again, again be careful that you're not damaging the threads. And that goes through the housing, if you can see, it goes through the distributor housing. That's the part that you've knocked out, the little centre part, what I've just told you, see the rod moving. So your drill actually starts just there. So get it lined up again with the 7mm drill. Again, drill down, drill down, drill down until you lock on to your, to, your, to your mark that you've made where the pipes cross over. And the crossover just up there somewhere in the, in the, gal, in the oil galley. The crossover there. So again, mark it with your, with your piece of tape like I have. That goes right down to the bottom. So now, so you know how far to drill it. Again, start it with your 7mm. And then put your, if you've got a 5 16 put it through. If not, use the 8mm, what I've done. Keep it nice and straight. Don't go cock hiding like that, because you'll drill through the side. And you'll damage these threads. Just keep it nice and central. And take your time, take your time, backing it off. 
get your oil can and keep lubricating the drill bit take it out clean it so hopefully oh and then when you've done that by the way because you've opened this up don't forget to open your main bearing up uh, and I, I, what I did I did a, a on the old shell the main bearing shell I just again started it very carefully started it with the 7 mil took a shaving off it and then opened it up to 8 mil it's only the center bearing that you need to do then that gives it a wider oil feed and it lubricates both the piston uh, big ends and the journal and you shouldn't have any more worries about whether the engine is going to fail on that very very weak point that the midgets uh, and the Spitfire suffered from so give us a couple of comments if you like in the video um, and uh, I'll try and answer any questions if you've got any the main thing here is to just take your time and then obviously I've just put some um, gunk on there now to clean it all off blow all the gal I've disconnected all I've undone all the nuts for the oil gallery uh, and that'll all be cleaned out and blown through and uh, when I come to do the engine so right thanks for watching